So what we want to do is we go to data and then select split file and we want to split it by age because we want once again results just for young and then separate results just for old. So we select age and then select the compare groups option and then notice groups based on we're going to move age over and then click OK. And then now we want to go back and run our independent samples t-test once again. So go to analyze, compare means, and then independent samples t-test. And everything looks good here. We have our satisfaction with life as our test variable, and SES is still our grouping variable. So click OK. And then notice what we have here now. If you look at our group statistics table, notice how we have a separate row for young. We have five in low SES and five in high SES. Then we have a separate row for old with the same thing here, five each in low and high SES respectively. And then here under independent samples test, we have two different results. We have a result for young, and notice that was significant. It was less than 0 0.05. Then we have a result for old, and that was not significant. It was greater than 0 0.05. So SPSS actually has run two separate t-tests, one for young and then one for old. So that did just what we wanted it to. It ran two separate t-tests instead of one overall t-test as we saw above here. And this often comes in handy. Like One application where this would come into play is when we're looking at an interaction effect and in a two-way ANOVA, for example and we want to test simple effects tests. One thing with the split file command that you have to watch out for is if you don't turn it off and you continue to do other analyses, the split will remain in effect the entire time until either SPSS is shut down or you turn it off. And notice here, first of all, if you go down to the corner of the window, see where it says split by age? That's telling us that the file is currently split, and it's split by age. So if I do another analysis, like say descriptive statistics, and I get descriptives on satisfaction with life, let's go ahead and do that, click OK. Notice what happens here. I get my results separated by young and old, or in other words, they're separated by age, because that's what I split the file by. So if I don't want that, then I need to go back to the split file command. So let's go to data and then split file. And here there's a few things I can do. I can either select analyze all cases, do not create groups, or I can click reset and either one of those things will turn it off. But let's go ahead and just select analyze all cases, do not create groups, and then click OK. And then go back to our data editor window. And if you look down here, notice there's no more split file age shown. And if we run a procedure, like the descriptive procedure again, go ahead and click OK. And you see here, now the results are shown for all 20 people at once, instead of, as in the previous table, when the results were separated by age, since that variable was being split at the time. But now the split file's off, so all the results are analyzed once again. Any analysis we do will be done for all 20 people. Hey, this concludes the video on the split file command in SPSS. Thanks for watching.